All right, guys, welcome to another video talking to you from Mexico City in a secret location. I'm here with uh, Special K. He's from the U.S. and he was with us um, at a Tuscaloosa's uh, Mexico City boot camp doing some training with us this past four days. Um, Mr. K, I know you're probably mentally, physically exhausted, but what did you think about the entire experience uh, just at a nutshell so far? Yeah, the whole experience is really great. It's very tiring because we just went really hard for all the four days straight. But it's a nice, very, very nice place. Um, it's a little different for sure than the States, but it's still similar at the end of the day. Like there's people like the same things. There's a lot of beautiful women. There's a lot of really good food. It's really cheap too. Um, conversion rates still, considering it's still pretty good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just, really nice to be in a different place and weather's a little bit hotter but it's it's not too it's, it's great it's great yeah so kind of continuing on you know the dating between the u.s and your first time here uh can you come up with like a distinction in terms of do you now kind of prefer dating outside the u.s or you still need to spend more time because you mentioned it is a little bit different but is it like in a good way where you maybe find them here a little bit more friendlier, uh, a little bit more receptive? Have you come up with a distinction yet between the U.S. and at least here in Mexico? I would say there's a little bit of difference. Um, granted, I'm in the city center and I don't really, by city center, I mean in Mexico City. I don't live like that in uh, back home. It's more like the suburbs. So the vibe is much different. It's much slower. Yeah. But here, for sure, uh, I think people are just a little bit more friendly. Um, I've never had really bad rejections. It's just, it's no big deal if they do say no or if they have a boyfriend. That's fine. No big deal. Have a good day. Yeah. Um, and there's just, the volume is just much, much higher. So I know we, in the videos that Mr. M talks about, there's he's talked about the abundance mindset a lot. And it's really easier to cultivate that when there is an actual abundance of uh, women here and places to do things to see. So it's not something that can be faked and it's just much... I mean, for my Spanish though, I need to do to improve, but it's okay, I'm, I'm getting better. And even if they, even if I'm not speaking to them in great Spanish, they still appreciate the compliments. Um, and it's kind of obvious too that I'm not really from around here, so... I think even if they don't really um, like the interaction so much, they, they're still very polite and friendly. It's, it's very good. That was actually going to be my next topic, and it's good that you brought it up, is the abundance mindset. And hopefully one of the key takeaways, which you probably will agree, is having the abundance mindset. When you see so many opportunities, you know, yeah, girl says that she's not interested, she has a boyfriend, that's fine, because a few minutes later or half an hour later, there's always more opportunities. So were you able to kind of, before coming in, you probably had a little bit of the abundance mindset, but even now after four days of just putting in a lot of reps, how do you view this whole abundance mindset? Has it been on steroids now pretty much? Yeah, pretty much. Cause back home, the, like to talk about economics a little bit, there's supply and demand, right? Yeah. The lower the supply, the just more, more precious it is. But here there's just so much out there that even if you miss one, um, it's fine because there's so many out there. Like it's no big deal. Yeah. Um, that's that's really just something that just just a night and day difference because there's just so many out here, and you get a lot of experience. You get you get a lot of that reference points that it's okay that there actually is an abundance here. And if some girls flake, no big deal. They're busy. They're not really interested. So it's okay. No big deal. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. K. So like a few months ago, you mentioned. Um, you know, you personally obviously got a relationship and obviously like anybody, we've all been there where, you're, you know, you're feeling a little bit down, you know, especially a lot of emotional investment. Um, obviously, before coming here, you started to approach to kind of get over that. So obviously, if you don't mind sharing now that you kind of went through this experience in a new country, in a new city, um, on top of the abundance mindset, has this kind of helped get over, you know, a possible one-itis or you know past relationship did this kind of experience just help you get over that uh, situation oh yeah definitely I mean it's it's one of those things where it's kind of a holistic approach right like you can't just be 
approaching girls and not really taking care of your health, um, not sleeping right, not eating good food. I was doing everything. It has to be really taken from all points of action, and I really wanted to um, face my problems head on instead of kind of shying, shying away from it. Yeah. This is almost like a like that culmination of all the things I've been doing the past couple months and over the past couple years too, because I've been in self improvement for a while. Yeah. But yeah, for sure, like I was taking care of my health, seeing my family a lot more, um, approaching a lot more girls. Just, just spending time for myself, like just doing things for myself, not for other people, but for myself. And obviously, this trip was that that big thing that we, I just really looked forward to, and there was something to look forward to. You know, I've ne- this is my first time in Mexico City, yeah. and it's not really just about the girls. It's just, it's about seeing other culture too, and learning a la- learning uh, a language. And this is my third language now, or on the way there. Yeah. Um, just it's it's really about more than just the girls it's really more than about that but yeah it's really helped me a lot that's a great point because guys back in the day when i went through my first boot camp obviously i was there for the dating the girls element but then i was in a new country i was a new city it's belgrade serbia and that was kind of a catapult to not only for the dating side but to also just like a greater lifestyle change seeing the opportunities both in dating and life opportunities, seeing a new culture, seeing a different type of life that you can live rather than like the normal path that I think all of us have to go on. So Mr. K, I think this was hopefully a great catapult into something similar now that you kind of see a taste of different culture, different girls, different lifestyle, um, how you can start to maybe implement more of this going forward. So yes, while you know, in a, in a week, this trip is going to end you're probably going to right away start planning your next trip right you know you start to think of all the cool locations and i think that's one of the great things about these type of experiences is that it gives guys a different viewpoint a different possible opportunities not only in dating but in life in general so obviously mr k it was great meeting you in person you did a fantastic job and obviously thank you guys for watching the video uh please like and subscribe Peace out from Mexico City. Talk to you to the next one. Bye.